My name's Russell, I'm an OST here at Majura Canberra at the training facility. This is our classroom and training office where we're at. Um, behind us will be the range in our sim area. So what they'll get here is they'll get uh, firearms training, defensive tactics training, so that's the ability to handle yourself without any accoutrements. You'll get your taser, handcuffs, batons and spray. You'll also do uh, a threat assessment course where you get to learn the precursors to violence. We also do a little bit of negotiator stuff to teach you some comms. If you're a good talker, you won't need a lot of the OST stuff we teach. The whole thing about a firearm is it's just a tool. It's not the answer. Your decision is the answer. But we'll teach you to use this well and in accordance with law. So this is our range proper. This is where all the shooting takes place. Uh, we've got the armory there where we keep all the weapons. Um, our cleaning base through there and our bulk store where we store ammunition. And so you'll spend your five days here and outside we'll get you to be able to shoot what we call center of C mass. We do that because that gives us the greatest margin error because you'll be under a lot of stress using your firearm. We do a, a week while you're doing some defensive tactics of handling what we call red gun. It's an inert gun. So you get magazine changes, stoppages, trigger application, how to handle it, how to draw it without any threat of any drama or any issue. So we'll put this on the target in your first day so we know where you're aiming. And then where these rounds go, will indicate to us what issues you might be having with your firearm and your shooting. So whether you're uh, anticipating the shot, pushing forward the gun, healing, pushing the gun up, or really putting my finger low left, or making a squeeze motion with my grip. That will be what these rounds tell us about this target. And we'll start diagnosing together what the issues are and how we can get, make you a better shot. Two rounds up. This is where we fire our simunition. So we've got the same targets that are inside. We have the ability to move laterally, diagonally, forward and back. Um, we've also got um, some little sits of tin down there um, and they're designed to give feedback because often people want to look up the meerkat, they want to see where their rounds going. They're, they're proud, they want to be a good shot. This is their taser scenario, so they get to fire on a moving target. Yes, yes. Previously they've learnt load, unload, how their taser works, the calls and such things, and they've shot on a static target. We're trying to teach decision making. The, the things that you carry as an officer are yours to protect yourself and the community. How can I do this at the lowest end of force possible? Cuffman here, he's, he's all purpose for us. Um, we can handcuff him without hurting people because in our excitement, we don't understand the way the body works, and so we can damage shoulders and elbows and things, handcuffing people while we're learning. We can bat and strike cuff man and not hurt him. We can use our OC spray and be able to spray people effective, so we use as little as possible. Um, we can shoot him with our taser. This is like our Holt. We have, instead of an actual probe taser, we have one that sticks to Velcro. We can use all our things on him and learn on a person size. We can even use dummy drag. He's very multi-purpose, our cuff man.